Welcome back everybody to episode number two of our brand new Minecraft survival single player world with me, Jancy, of course. Great to see you guys all back here. And also, before we go any further, can I just put a big, big thank you and I don't know, I don't know what, but thank you so much for the always awesome support. It's really cool when you start a new series and you see people are really enjoying the series and you see people super excited to see the series. It is a very, very awesome thing. And also great to see that people actually enjoy my, <laughs> my first house because this is something that I'm kind of a little bit iffy about when I get into it. And it's really cool to have got something that is that is acceptable because I start getting really really involved with building in my mind and I just I start thinking things like man I maybe could do this a little bit better maybe put a bit more stuff here in fact after the last episode I was like you know what I really wanted to do it and I forgot to do it was adding in a little bit of this stuff this beautiful beautiful dark oak but uh even more beautiful dark oak in the fence variety I really wanted to do some of this and I think it's about time I just added in right around here and it looks like the sun is actually going down and and if you guys haven't wondered if well if, if you guys haven't figured it out uh, oh yeah forgot about this <laughs> uh but if you guys haven't figured it out yes we have not moved much since the last episode i pretty much took the thumbnail got everything up and running and i, I really just want to enjoy this series at, at a leisurely pace i want to i want to do things that we want to do that we want to see in minecraft and it, and if it is possible of course uh do maybe a change here or there to keep it vanilla enough, but enjoyable enough. And one thing I was thinking about, this is, this is the kind of example, all right? So like how many people know, I do have a few changes in a texture pack, for instance, the, the crops, as we've said. One thing that I was thinking that would be very cool, okay, sleep during thumb stops, uh, would be really cool is some of the blocks that are added in 1.13 for creative, but not necessarily added into survival mode just yet. We have been given the ability in 1.13 to add in our own custom recipes. I'm not gonna do anything that gives us anything extra, but tell me what you think about it. Cause I'm, I'm only gonna do it if people agree with me that it might be a good idea. Cause maybe people are like, hold up Jancy. You, you're getting a bit ahead of yourself there, buddy. That's fine, you guys can tell me that and, uh, and I will consider it. <laughs> but uh, the thing that I was thinking about was in 1.13, we can add a recipe for the new sandstone. Cause I actually tried to do some of it, but I couldn't manage to figure it out. So I. I couldn't manage to figure out, in fact, do that maybe. Uh, this cut sandstone to get the smooth sandstone. That's what I really want. I wanted to get smooth sandstone, which is a beautiful, beautiful block that 1.13 has given us. And uh, it, it's just something that we just can't get to work for us. I don't know which block to use. I'm gonna use these. Create a second chest. Uh, so I, I don't know yet, but but we'll have a look. We'll see what we do, see what you guys come up with. And of course, I'm always down to add it in and it'll, it'll be added in in the future, of course. So one thing I do want to do while we while we downstairs here, in fact, can I just place that there? Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. I'm pretty sure I need those facing the other way, but either way, 1.13 feature right there. Uh, what I do want to do is I want to get ourselves underground and mining. So here's a question. This is actually a, a pretty cool question, I think, for a lot of people, is what do a lot of you guys do for, for mining and stuff? Like, do you guys, well, for starting Minecraft, of course, and going out mining, would you normally be the kind of person to go out and, and do all your mining on the first day? You know, get get your stuff together, go out and, and get as much stuff underground as possible so you can get your diamonds and all that stuff. Or are you a bit more a bit more like me, who takes the, the craft out of Minecraft and starts getting straight to building stuff. I know I look a little bit lost here, but I just was thinking about some of the stuff we may very well need. You know what? We're actually not gonna go very far before we come back up. So that's kind of cool. We got 26 torches and a, and a, a pick with uh, 168 durability. Let's go. And a dream. That's what we've got. It, we got torches, a pick, and a dream. And the dream is, get super lucky with some diamonds. The other dream is, that we don't have to fail our challenge we set ourselves up with in the last episode. In fact, let's just let's just go down here. That we started in the last episode, which was uh, getting ourselves... I'm, I'm going in a little bit before we go down. I know I could have gone straight down. Uh, the, the whole thing was, I don't want to have... Ooh, more, more things. I don't, now, come on, Jancy, just speak, man. You get distracted by too many of these beautiful, colorful things around here. I do not want to have to make myself some wooden or stone tools. That's the goal. We got blessed with such great luck to be able to get ourselves iron from the start. And I want to see if we can keep it that way without having to go all primitive Minecraft on you. That's, that's the goal. And I think it'll be kind of fun to do that. The other goal is I hope, well, not goal, but for today, is I hope that we are able to make it all the way down to level 11. So for some perspective on where we're at right now, we're on level 49. I think we might just make it down to level 11. Oh, some andesite. Beautiful stuff. In fact, if we get a lot of this stuff, 
the the dirt, we're probably going to be all right. But yeah, as I say that, it's like, hey, hey, you don't, you want dirt? You don't get the dirt. But either way, uh, now, by the way, guys, this is, oh, beautiful. We have been saved. I've just discovered something, guys. We've done a bit of mining, but we've, we've got a casualty. It appears, in fact, is there a doorway to this? It appears that a villager has uh, has been afflicted with a, with a horrible curse. The door is right there. That is fantastic. That, that means there is still hope. Actually, I, I think there is no hope. Let's hope, hopefully this villager, this uh, zombie villager can pick something up. I want to save it. It's, it could be good. Here we go. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, you take one of those. All right? Come back. Where'd you go? Uh, but... Um, I think they're a bit distracted with actual villagers around there. Come on, come back here. Yeah, you. Yeah, 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 you. Come back. I've got some stuff for you. No, not interested. Yeah, I'm afraid it's a lost cause. That's a pity, because that would have been really awesome. I don't even know if that was just lucky that it was a villager like that. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do something real smart right now. And by real smart, you of course know exactly what I mean, right? You do know what I mean. We're gonna do this. We're gonna look at this guy. Hey, buddy, come on here. Be my first. Oh man, how how cool would I be if my first mob slain is an enderman? Look at that. An achievement made, and we managed to get ourselves an ender pearl. Now that is super lucky. I know we were we were getting distracted. We're getting distracted real quick here today, guys. But either way, as I say, we're taking it leisurely, and leisurely means that we have gotten underground to level 11, and we are about to do some solid solid mining. I just thought I'd bring you guys in just to give you a little bit of an update. Got to level 11. Uh, managed to get some iron stuff. In fact, I was going there to do that and then we'll cook up some of this and then we'll also cook up more of these Over there so that we can get some Actually, yeah, well, we can get some more uh, Torches because that's what we kind of low on look at that 13 torches So I'm gonna keep going until I get about a stack of torches I just thought it would be a good thing to bring you guys in show you what could potentially be our project, but sadly uh, We've got a, a zombie that's not cooperating, which is quite a pity so we had a short and uneventful mining session. Really, the only thing that is left to report is that we we pretty much we found ourselves in a in a very close battle with some skeletons and a creeper. And not only that, we also found a mine shaft, which is good to go and explore in the future, of course. But right now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do what any responsible person would do after such crazy circumstances. Uh, we, we're going to go on a bit of exploration. How about that? Let's let's go and explore the world. And, and see what else we've got around here, because of course, there is one very cool thing in Minecraft, which is that boats do not take any hunger yet, I think. I feel like one day they, they're bound to, bound to take hunger, but for now, we've got that opportunity to go and explore without actually having to have much of a cost to us moving around the world, which I kind of... Oh wait, I'm trying to... Why am I trying to craft in my bed? That, that seems to make sense. You know I've played this game before if I do that. And you know what else, actually, while we're down here, I do have some dye around here. So let's make a blue bed. Great. All right. So this should be good for us. I think we've got some fish. We've got some uh, meat. We've got some torches. We've got a villager that we stuck in and some mutton. So let's go out and, and go exploring the world. What I want to see is I want to go and explore the, oh, there's that boat all the way there. I want to go and explore the coral area in the world. And, and besides that, let's just look at what we have to have to look at here. And, and many people did, uh, of course, hear my question that I asked in the last episode, which was, what kind of villages or what kind of civilizations are, are things in Minecraft that you want to see that you haven't seen or you see a lot and you love? Um, I would love to see that. And and obviously this might give you guys a little bit of a, a little bit of an idea of what we've got in this world. Of course, if you guys do want to check it out, of course, there's the video where I went through all the seeds. This world was on there. This was the third world, and man. I fell in love with this world. It, it was one of those things where you look at it and you're like, yeah, that looks cool from a map. I didn't really know how cool it was until I got down here in the world. Let me tell you this. We've got ourselves a beautiful seed and something that's even more beautiful is look at that dolphin right there. Please can you do like a dolphin jump out the water, please? That, that would just be spectacular. You'd, you'd make my day, dolphin. Oh, I think... that Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's a, that's a new feature. Dolphins now, yeah. Listen to your microphone, apparently. Kind of freaky a little bit. Kind of freaky. I'm just going to get away from you, dolphin. <laughs> I don't think I trust you anymore. And you got friends? No way. No way. Uh, but one good thing, you can see there's some warm or lukewarm motion there. And we should... Ooh. Is that there? We go. There's some. There's some treasure. We can, let's uh, let's go and explore a little bit. You know, I think I think we may as well find some cool stuff like this. Treasure, 
Oceans, ooh, a monument on the top, and a drowned. This is my first drowned I've seen, so let's go and say what's up. How you doing, Mr. Drowned? <laughs> that, that mob noise is, is, uh, interesting. Okay, cool. So as far as I'm aware, I, I did ask what they, they dropped in a stream recently, and I was told that they, is there really no chest around here? Is this a, a chestless monument? I suppose it might be. Although, oh no, no, there we go. Uh, and... Okay, cool. So it took a while to load that loot, but that's alright, we got it in the end. And we've got a buried treasure map, fantastic. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was told that they drop a few things like, uh, like gold, and some other stuff like that, but mostly just the normal sorts of stuff. So we are in the, right now, we are in the southeast. We need to go northwest to find where the stuff is. So I guess this will dictate our trip. We've just kept moving north to look at this map, and look, we've, we actually need to go that way now. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys, how cool is this new, well, well, we can't see anything now, I guess. Well, you're gonna have to see it from here. These are what the monuments look like now. I may as well get in my boat. Uh, those are what the monuments look like now, which I think is super cool. They actually make them look pretty now, which is really, really cool with all the, the things growing on them. Look at all the stuff. Man, how could we not find anything in the last episode? And by the way, there's coral. I think I think we're in the place right now. Mushroom Island, coral. I just saw a ship here somewhere. There it is. Kind of blended in a little bit. So before we go out that way, let's get some, let's get a little bit more treasure, a little bit more loot. Drop down in here, thank you. I'll get off right there. And actually, are there drowns in here? No. Cool. So I know that there is a few places where you can get loot from. Is this the first spot? Beautiful. Some pretty neat stuff. I mean, the emeralds could be kind of useful for trading for, with villagers. In fact, that, that is exactly what they'll be useful for. Oh, snap. Come on. Save me. There we go. Beautiful. Jensi, you can't be doing this, man. <laughs> there we go. I felt like my, my health healed a little bit quicker than normal. Uh, do we have anything in here? A chest, coal, that, and I guess I'll take a shirt with mending on it. And we'll get out there, and I think there are three. If I am correct with this, I'm pretty sure that this has three loot spots. So, can I please get these others? I think it's down in here. I, I need to get used to this new uh, looting mechanic. Oh, wait, can we get air in the... Okay, cool. So we can actually get air in this door. Again, it looks like we've, we've got the same sort of stuff. I'm gonna guess this will probably be the same map, but feathers... Actually, we, we could stand here. Let's check this map out here. Yeah. Yeah. Understandable. I heard that that was kind of a, a little bit of an issue people have been having where the buried treasure kind of leads to the exact same spot all the time because there's only a few spots that are around and of course the map's trying to find a, a spot that makes sense and, and this is the spot that makes sense. These are pretty cool fish. I heard that there was a fish that, or maybe that's a type, that can change to many different varieties. It's just got so many different colors. Or perhaps those of them. Who knows? And it, there it is, right in front of us. Ooh, another village. Okay, we, we've actually got a lot, of, a lot more stuff in this world to explore than I expected. Actually, here is something that I haven't explored yet. The new magma blocks pulling you down. Now, I can't actually see them there, but does it do anything to your boat? Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. Okay, wow. Um, that is not very cool. Get me out of here, please. Goodbye, boat. <laughs> That was actually, that was actually very, very sad. Just watching it go down there so slowly, it, it served us well. But that is super, super cool. I mean, if I didn't get out of that, if that didn't eject me out and I managed to get away from that, that could have actually ended pretty badly, for me at least. That, that's kind of cool. I, I like that feature. That's very, very neat. I, I wasn't expecting it to be that cool, but I was just trying to see how neat it looked with our boat busy doing that weird wiggling stuff that it was doing. So... As far as I know, because I have explored this on my, my streaming world, that we do need to get directly on the mark, which I think is around here. Is this right? Is this right? There it is. Beautiful. Now, give me my loot, please. Ooh, heart of the sea. We've got a mission, guys. Now it is time to fish, and not AFK fish. That's something I'm not a, not a very big fan of, I'll tell you that much. Oh, diamonds as well. I didn't even I didn't even realize it didn't hit me until now. Our first diamonds. Very appropriate, considering we've got everything this series from our um, from our, our loot, well, big loot things at least so far, from looting in them ourselves. So let's go check this village out. It does have a blacksmith. I wanted to go look at the coral, but I think we'll, we'll save that for a bit later. I think it's about time we move back to our village. Don't jump over those holes. Um, yeah, we, I think we'll go back to our village, do a little bit more mining, break it up a bit. So nothing much to report home on in that village besides a bit of books, 
No cool van mending villager or anything. We've got ourselves a nice little shirt to wear. But I just thought, you know, I'm gonna come here, just do a bit of mining, get ourselves ahead, get through some of this stuff until we get to the real exciting things and uh, get, get ready for the exciting things. I'm just casually mining, doing my little branch mining technique and bam, just turn around the corner and what? Diamonds? For real? Straight up. So this is not very far, as you can see. Uh, we did a little bit of a mine shaft over here, which was the, the deadly one, which I just kind of gave up on <laughs> when I saw the skeletons. I won't mess around with it too much, but I was like, I'll, I'll leave it until we can get ourselves some, some good armor. So let's go ahead and get these beauties. Get them. Ooh, beautiful diamond. No achievement. That's kind of sad. I think this is one of the first few times I have not got the achievement from mining them myself. But you know what? I'm happy. I'm very happy right now. We've got six diamonds. Any other diamonds from now, I think I might just wait until we do some enchanting so we can get some fortune three on it. But here, here's a little trick, all right? So a lot of people ask me in my stream, so I'm sure there's probably a bunch of you guys uh, down over, over here in, on YouTube land that are wondering uh, what, what this crazy mining technique is. And it's kind of like a lazy way of doing it efficiently. So if you guys ever want to be kind of more efficient in finding diamonds, you're going to have to give up on some of your blocks like those there. But what I do is I like to do this the simple way. I think the technical best is if I leave one, two, three blocks and then dig on the fourth over here. Uh, but I dig on the fifth block, which is coincidentally as far as your pick can reach. So you can see there, let me just mine this way. We go one, well, this is really, do you guys have to mess me up, Gravel? So it's one, two, three, four and a five. So you can see all of those there. You can see all the diamond, all the diamond, potential diamond here, there, and the same as here for iron. So if you like the, like the ore, you can just go straight to it, or you can just leave the rest to despawn. It's kind of just a little neat trick. So you do that, and then because the reason why I say it's a lazy way is because I'm, I'm mining on the fifth, not on the fourth one. So if I just go straight up to the same big main road, I go one, two, three, four, and five. That was five. And I really could have gone four, but five is as far as we go. And that, that means I don't even have to count. So it's kind of the lazy way to be efficient. And, and that's the way I like to do these things. So now that we've got some diamonds, I'm just going to keep going until we can maybe get ourselves, because we've got, what, six diamonds, two back at the base. Uh, I'm going to see if we can get ourselves an enchanting setup today. And besides that, we've also got some other real cool stuff to show you guys. So we have four obsidian and potentially a very big problem. Hopefully when we see up here, yep, look at that. You can see it's dark. There's no sunlight. I've just realized, I was like, hey, yeah, you know what? I've got these diamonds, I've got some obsidian. I'm doing great, but then my village is full of villagers. My villagers need to be in the daylight or else we're gonna get destroyed by some zombies, just like we saw a bit earlier. We don't wanna have these guys following in the, that guy's track. That's just uh, that's just sort of sad and, and really, I just I wanna see my village prosper. So hopefully we can get there in time, we'll sleep and then we'll run away because you know what? Sometimes running away is the better option. Sometimes, and and I think this is the option where we just realize we can't fight the zombies. Oh man, wrong way, come on Jancy. Not good time to be messing up your runs here, man. Come on, get in there. And around here, I think we might be safe. Looks like not a lot of stuff has spawned, and if so, yeah, guys, you're in the right, in the right spot. Whew, that was good. All right, now let's just check if we're about to be bombarded. Wait, where's my door? Uh, any, any zombies around there? I can see one burning in the distance. Let's just make sure there's nothing too close in the distance, in the distance. And around here, there's Enderman, a creeper I can see in there. Hey, Mr. Creeper, you stay far away from me. Yep, okay. Zombies are the biggest threat to our existence in this place. And, well, not ours. I mean, the villagers. And uh, and I do want to keep these guys. So let's check how long we can keep them safe for. Now, I told you guys, I've got some cool stuff. By the way, I've expanded this out. This is going to become our chest room, which is kind of cool because this actually goes under into the into the mountain, which is really neat. So I've made some chests just for this time. So we'll go there and we'll go there and we'll go... Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, that's fine. I could actually make this slab. Uh, so we'll, we'll get to that. We'll make those slabs eventually. But it's so great. Actually, wait, I can't shift there. Actually, how do you do this now? Do I have to do this first? I think I have to do this first now to be able to connect chests. There's something I didn't think about, but that's all right. It's not a big deal. But either way, good stuff has happened. And where is my book? So we've got a book there. We've got two diamonds. And we'll take these other books and we'll also take a bit of this jazz over here. And I've got one of these. By the way, I've realized what, it's, what is weird about these villages. I don't think that villages had, in 1.12 at least, I think they had bounding boxes and I'm pretty sure their bounding boxes have disappeared. That's the only explanation for what is going on here. So 
I, I, else I've really got no other idea because I, I don't recall this happening in the Minecraft that I was playing just a few, a few weeks ago or a few days ago, just, just today even for that matter, because this, this definitely wasn't happening then. Okay, we'll go one, two, three, four, five there. That's enough. Perfect. All right, so 15, I think that's actually all we need. I'm pretty sure that's actually is. That, that's perfect. Let's go find a house. This will be my enchanting house. Actually, I want to do it at the top because as I, as I say, we're going to be redoing this village at some stage. So I'd like to, I'd like to do something that could be, could be used for a few things. How about we do it in this one over here? Unless there's one on the other side, we'll do it in this one here. If there's a bigger one on this side, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it in here, which means that well, we first of all need a way up. So let's let's do that, and then, uh, okay, temporary measures, temporary measures. We're gonna put one of these here. We're gonna go ahead and put bookshelves around in there. We'll move these later. It's they don't have to sit here. We'll we'll get rid of them later. This is just me me improvising. You know, we we gotta make a plan. And of course, this will have to go so that we can get everything around the bottom as well. So if you guys think I'm a crazy guy for what I'm doing, I probably am. But we're just trying to get all the levels we can in here. So you see this, when we put something in there, we're at level 18. We put another one in, we're at level 18. Maybe we put two more. Let's just see if this works. Okay, 18, please go away. <laughs> Maybe going low is actually the wrong, wrong choice here. I'm getting the feeling that going below here might be the wrong choice, in which case I'll have to just drop this one more down over here. Yeah, we'll pick this up. We'll drop it down there. And now, show me the levels. 28. Look at that. Beautiful. And I think we actually, well, how many do we have? In fact, if we get rid of that, now we should have 30. Yes. Perfect. So what enchantment do we have there? I'm breaking three. Respiration and Aqua Affinity would actually be a very good enchantment to have on there. I'm not, I'm not too interested in these other two. Although we only have 15. If we can get fortune on something, yeah, if we could get fortune on this, I'd totally take it. But we can maybe go for efficiency three on that. That could be kind of cool. Our first enchanting. It's super exciting, actually. It really is. So how about we get ourselves some of that? We will have a look. I didn't actually have a look how many levels we required for that. But if we go here, we've got efficiency three for two levels at 19, which we don't actually have. But if I close this up, say I go there and then I do it for 12 efficiency two. Okay. I, I think I might just, I might just go and fight a few things. Maybe, maybe go and harvest a bit of, a bit of food from here so that I can get myself an efficiency enchantment, which is actually a great start. Might I add, that is a fantastic start. And by the way, horses, you give me leather. So, uh, come here, come here, horse. No leather from you. I know they do. I know they do. I believe in them. Okay, maybe they don't. All right, turns out that was not a good idea. Horses apparently don't drop leather. I think they do. I'm still not convinced, but either way, let's just ignore that. 19 levels. The best way was in fact to go underground, get ourselves a few, uh, a few levels from mining. And there we go. Efficiency three. That's going to make things go a whole bunch speedier. But let's just check. Do we have any special stuff waiting for us over there? Fire aspect and breaking sweeping edge. It's kind of kind of cool. And let's just check on our hat. What do we have for the hat? Right around there. Protection, projectile protection, blast protection. Rubbish. That's right. We might have a good uh, a good pick enchantment coming up. Oh, the sun's going down. Beautiful. It's kind of like a good, good conclusion because we're actually going to call it an episode there. So that that is fantastic. Look how beautiful that is. Sometimes, I mean, obviously it's a texture pack a little bit, but man, sometimes this game really actually does look, look pretty cool. Uh, but either way, a successful day, a successful mining session, successful adventures. Is anything else more successful? I mean, this series is going so, so great. So before I go, guys, thank you so much for joining me again in, in what appears to be an amazing world, an amazing series that I'm really, really thoroughly enjoying. And of course, if you guys are enjoying it, of course, we also do do stuff on Twitch and you guys know all the, all the rest, all the jazz down in the description, Twitter, Twitch, all that stuff. You guys know where it is, but thank you so much for joining me here today, guys. I appreciate having you guys around and I'll see you in the next one.